So as we touched on previously, I'm sure you've noticed that there's some subtleties uh, where we treat uh, interest and capital expenditure differently from an accounting or a cash flow modeling perspective. Now, if you need uh, to generate accounting statements, you're going to use what's called an accrual basis of accounting in order to record your actual financial flows. So you'll record revenue as you earn it, not necessarily when it's paid. So remember what we said about working capital. If your clients are only paying you after 30 days, if you're doing an accounting income statement, you don't recognize that revenue when your clients actually pay you after 30 days. You recognize it immediately once the client has said, fine, I will buy the service. Okay. So once you've earned the revenue, once you've delivered the goods to your client, then you recognize the sale. So what you'd need to do is you'd need to remove any working capital calculations from your revenue and from your cost side when you're doing accounting statements. Okay. Investment bankers typically don't look at your income statement uh, when they are assessing your debt capacity because you're actually going to repay the interest in terms of cash flow. So what's more important to investment banks is the cash flow statement, which is what we'll continue with after this section. But I just thought it was important to highlight the difference between um, accounting statements and taxation and your cash flow because you treat certain line items uh, differently. Um, so a balance sheet is quite important for uh, banks when we're assessing the amount of collateral that your business has. Meaning um, if you have what's called a secured loan, then the banks would take temporary, um, it, they wouldn't take ownership, but they, they'd, they'd get uh, security over your assets in the event that you don't repay the debt. They would then have legal cause to sell your assets in the open market to recover as much money as possible out of the debt that you owe them. So in order to assess how much security they have in that situation, they'd look at the assets and the liabilities on your balance sheet. So you can also model uh, your balance sheet in your financial model and uh, what you'll have is your capital expenditure. You will reflect it as your property, plant, and equipment and additions to plant and equipment. But the difference is you'd have this depreciation element where you would um, reduce the amount of your assets down to zero over their life, which would typically be five years uh, in many jurisdictions. Um, but in reality, you might find that certain assets are reflected as at a zero value on your balance sheet when they are actually worth much more than that. Um, and as well, you'd reflect your liabilities and uh, the remainder would be equity. So that's just touching on your accounting statements.